In this video, you will learn how to create isometric design in Adobe Illustrator. Let's start off with the basics. You will learn how to create an isometric grid in less than one minute. Activate the line tool and create a vertical line while holding shift on your keyboard. You will then duplicate this line to the right. You can now press Command or Control D on your keyboard to duplicate the line multiple times. Select all your lines, right click and group them together. Now you can activate the rotation tool by pressing the letter R on your keyboard. Press enter and input a 60 degree angle and confirm by clicking on OK. Once again, with the rotate tool activated, press enter on your keyboard and input another 60 degree angle and confirm by clicking on copy. And just like that, you created an isometric grid. For the next lesson, you will learn how to create left, right, and top facing shapes. Let's begin with the left side. Select your shape and activate the scale tool by pressing the letter S on your keyboard. Press enter on your keyboard and input a 100% for uniform and for non-uniform, you're going to input 82 and 70.5. You can then activate the shear tool and input minus 30. Finally, activate the rotate tool, press enter and input minus 30 as well. And this will create your left facing shape. Following the same method, you will create the right facing shape. Using the scale tool, input the same information as earlier. Then activate the shear tool and input a 30 degree angle instead of a minus 30 degree. For the rotate tool, we will also input a 30 degree angle and now we have created the right facing shape. For the top shape, let's scale it once again. With the shear tool, input 30. And for the rotation, input the opposite, which is minus 30. And this will create your top shape. So we know how to create the isometric grid and the shapes, but how do we move them along the grid? Being able to move the shapes up and down is very easy as it aligns with the isometric grid, but moving them to the side is different. For that, you need to activate the move tool, which you can press the letter V on your keyboard. With that tool activated, press enter. Under horizontal, vertical, and distance, input zero. And under angle, input either 30 or minus 30. Go back to the distance tab and play with it to move the shape. So we are now ready to create our first illustration mixed with my cartooning style. We will now use the grid in my sketch reference to create this retro iMac computer as an isometric design. As always, I prefer to create a sketch beforehand, but it's not necessary. I will leave you a moment to take a screenshot so that you can follow along with me and I will also leave you the color codes in the description. Place a sketch on a canvas and turn it into a reference layer. Create two layers above and name them outline and color. With a pen tool, begin tracing the sketch while using the grid as a guide. Like I showed you earlier, I will move these points using the move tool. You can use the Shape Builder tool to adjust your shape. Select both shapes, activate the Shape Builder tool, hold Option or Alt on your keyboard, and click on the shape you wish to delete. For the screen, create two squares and make them right facing. 
just like we did at the start of the video. Let's continue by creating the keyboard and the mouse, following the same method. All right, so we're done creating the outline, so let's add the base colors. Start by selecting everything and heading over to the Layers panel. Hold Option or Alt on your keyboard and drag the blue square down to the color layer. What we did was an exact copy on a different layer. Make sure to lock the outline and hide it. For the next step, delete all unnecessary detailed shapes. Next, select all and head over to the Object menu and select Outline Path. Then go to the Pathfinder tool and click on the Unite button to turn it into a shape. Right click on the outline, ungroup, and then click again and release Compound Path. You can then delete the outside shapes. Now that that's done, we can select all and apply a neutral color and turn on the outline layer. We can now simply select the individual shapes and apply a color. Keep in mind that the light source will be coming in from the right side, so make sure to add light colors to the right and darker colors to the left. For the screen, give it a nice blue gradient. As always, I will use a combination of the Pen Tool and Shape Builder to add more details.
And there you have it everyone, how to create an isometric vector illustration in Adobe Illustrator using my basic techniques. I hope you enjoyed the video and let me know your thoughts in the comments and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks everyone.